Sincerely yours, nothing more to be added. Nothing, really, really, nothing more to be added, apart from you keeping on digging. Keep on digging. Because the person who brought us here today is a person whom God has given special assignment to the, to the family. If you are married, you know, my wife spoke so much uh, about those who are trusting God. Uh, but he didn't speak so much about us who are already married. So if you are here with your spouse, look at your spouse face to face. And if your spouse is not here, look at your spouse by faith wherever she is. You know that's your spouse that is beside you. Tell your spouse that I haven't discovered you yet. Say it, say it, say it, say it, say it. Israelites, say it to your wife, say it to your husband. The Israelis, say it. I didn't know from Israel. Uh, Israelis, say it to your husband, say it to your wife too. You know why? Because if you have been married, you still haven't discovered your husband or your wife very well. Inside your wife, there are great treasures that you have never discovered. What will help you to discover is patience. Number one, number two, celebrating him or her. Taking your eyes off his or her weaknesses. Focusing on the little good things you know about him or her and celebrate it so much. The African have a parable that if you celebrate somebody, the person will do more. So, but if, you're, if, you're, if, you, create, if you create a hostile, non-celebratory environment, you will be damaging the wonderful gift and treasure in your spouses. So from today too, apart from those of us who are not married, who are trusting God to keep on digging, even those of us who are married too, there is a fertile land in our life. There is a land of Canaan in our home. There's a little paradise in our home. There's a little Jerusalem in our home. That paradise, that garden of Eden, that holy place in our home is your husband and is your wife. Only God knows the treasure that you'll be able to unearth if by wisdom, by grace, by understanding, by patience, by celebrating the little you know about him or her. Only God knows the greater virtue that you will discover as to keep on digging. May the Lord give us the grace to take away our eyes from our weaknesses, from our inadequacies. May God heal us from all the negative traits that we are displaying in our home, ungodly criticism, ungodly castigation, all kind of things. And may God give us the grace to focus on that, which is the best that God has deposited in our home. And as we discover that, may the Lord take our home to a higher level. Amen. Jesus, name we pray. Amen.